Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can split the column values as per the need. So splitting the values is a very common need as part of the data massaging or data manipulation process. And in this video, I want to show you the features which are available in Power Query to do that. Okay, and before that, uh, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then this is the Google Sheet for which the link is present in the description, right? And that way, the title of my videos are present here and the link is present here in column B. So that way you can easily search any of my videos and jump onto that video using the link that is present in column B. So this is link for the sheet is present in description. And then the data set link, the data set is basically in Power BI. Usually I give the link of data set folder and this is the sheet that you can uh, that I'm using for my processing. Okay, with that, let me uh, get back here and go into the Power BI. So to going into the Power BI, you need to go to transform data and click again on this transform data, which will open up the new window for Power Query. Power Query basically helps you do all the data massaging manipulation over very easily. So uh, first thing first is getting the data. We can click here on Excel workbook or let's say if you have been using some data this is this should be present in the recent data so option so what i can do is i can click over here for some reason but because probably i'm recording that's why it is not allowing me okay so for that let me go into where it is this my power bi and in the power bi where are you maybe this folder yes this is the folder and in this, uh, what do we have is Power BI Superstore Sales. The same data set which I showed you it will take a couple of seconds to load it. And then it will show you a pop-up window from where we need to select that data. Okay, so this is what it is and clicking OK, click OK, right? And uh, then it will allow us to, uh, after evaluation, it will allow us to view the data and then we can do that. All right. So now you can see that uh, I have this order ID as the column combination. This is the customer ID, right? Or maybe let's say customer name, first name and last name as a split. So it can be any scenario, right? So that is what, or for example, this one sales, right? You want to split, let's say by this dollar sign uh, so that you just get the value. So that is what uh, I, I'll show you and maybe what I'll take as an example is this order ID because let's say we want to split uh, the first, second or third part or just the first part, all of those we can see. So select the column which you need uh, over here and then that you need to split and split column is the functionality which is present and you have the by delimiter option as the first option where you can specify delimiter which in this case is hyphen. So you have hyphen, you can have space, sometimes star is present. So we need to specify the delimiter. Uh, here you want the leftmost delimiter, that means this one, or you want left rightmost, which is this one, or each occurrence of the delimiter. And that means each time it occurred, you know, you need the data. So you click OK. And you get CA 2017 and this is third column, order ID dot one, dot two, dot three, right? Let's say if you want to go back or you have, you figure out, okay, it's something, uh, you know, incorrect has happened. You always have this thing, click over there and that basically, uh, sorry, split column. And then you basically get the same thing back. One more time, you can check it over here uh, by delimiter option by selecting of the leftmost delimiter that means taking the first occurrence of the delimiter so only this one is splitted so first column and second column again i can do undo from here and uh, undo again from here so this basically comes back to the same scenario so now you have many different options by the number of characters by the position uh, by lowercase to uppercase, by uppercase to lowercase, all of those predefined split scenario that is being given to you so that you have most of it under control. But if something is not in under control, then also in future videos, we can I'll show you how you can utilize the some of the functions of the M scripting to do that piece, right? So 
utilize this use this feature uh, to to go one by one it's quite straightforward and uh, that way you will be able to split the columns that you need let me know if you find if you have any question and if not let, let's meet in the next video with a new topic